now we will have green class. I would now like to introduce to you our amazing teacher, Teacher Drew. 再让我们欢迎仁爱校的 Green Class 毕业生及 Teacher Drew。Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. Okay, so let's get things started. Okay, for my beginning, my introduction. I didn't really think of an introduction because I wanted to make sure I was speaking from the heart. And I've been teaching for eight years, and this is my magnum opus, my greatest class I've ever taught. I, everything I learned, I used on them, and I think the biggest thing I've learned over the years is when to push and when to pull back. It's all about knowing where that line is when a kid's going to be growing. You know, it's like exercising their minds. And I took a lot of risks. I pushed these kids really, really hard, but they all surpassed my expectations. They did amazing. I'm so proud of this class. They're independent. They're strong. And with your help and the help from me and the school and their friends, we did it. So don't waste this, okay? They have a lot of momentum right now. Don't waste this momentum. It, we put in a lot of work to make it happen, but. Anyways, I'll let the kids speak speak for themselves right now. So, Ivy. Since I'm since I'm first, let's get introductions out of the way. You know, before we get into all the things we learn, Teacher Drew has had to say our names. A million and one times every day, and over the months, he has given us different nicknames to keep track of us. For example, I'm Ivy, but Teacher Drew always calls me Ivo. I'm Cody or Cody. I'm Jameson, but son calls me Nosman. I'm Olivia, aka Olava. I'm Andrew, or sometimes Shona. I'm Andy the Bandy. I'm Nana Lilo. I'm Evans or Evans. Call me Georgie McPorgy. I'm Estelle the Little Star. I'm Jason, and make them of our babies. I'm Jamie, but Teacher Drew always calls me Jaybird. And I'm Teacher Drew, but everybody knows me as. <laughs> Okay, here you go. Now for the big picture or the thesis statement. I did the learn from Tia Drew in orange class, so when I came in, there were a lot of things I had to catch up on, like all the songs, Tia Drew rule for learning, all of those history stuff, and all of those crazy art projects. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Each one of my classmates will give you a little peek for what it was like for us in green class every week. Diligence, a three-syllable word. Diligence, a constant and an earnest effort to accomplish what is undertaken. From the Latin "dis," meaning a part, and the Latin suffix "legere," meaning to gather, we in green class diligently took the fragmented problem, placed before the, and logically assembled a solution. Each day of the week was focused on a specific topic of learning, so that so that we could really get into the zone and get some work done. Everyone in green class knows Mondays. Tuesday, Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, R, Fridays, Join the Billings Dance Club, the Church of an Assembly. Every month, every week, every day, every hour, every minute was utilized to its full potential. We, We always got it done. Since I'm number four, I'm gonna tell you about the Fab Four or the Beatles. Since all the way back in Orange class, Teacher Drew has had to has, has, 
has been teaching us songs from the world famous Beatles. Hey guys, what's your favorite Beatles song? Here comes the sun. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Yesterday. And the octopus's garden. And the walrus. Rocky Raccoon. Two of us come together. I got a hard day's night in a glass onion. Hey, Joe. Blackbird. Across the universe. But Olivia, do you know why I taught you guys so many Beatles songs? Yeah, because we learn proper pronunciation, great vocabulary, poetic metaphors, and a better understanding of Western culture. Since we are on the subject of Western culture, and I'm number five, we should talk about the last of the five good emperors of Rome, Marcus Aurelius. Teacher Drew taught us a lot of history and a lot about the philosophy of Marcus Aurelius, who became successful by living a stuck lifestyle. Come on, guys, let's tell the mommies and daddies what it means to be a stuck. Power campuses, self reliant, always cheerful, strength. understand some of the words. Yeah, English is all right, but do you know why? It's because it's, it's because English is made up of six languages, all mixed into one. Words like penguin, basket. These words come from Celtic. No Chinese. Mother. Bagel. These words come from German. Cake. Knife. These words come from the Vikings. Semester. Intelligence. A third of English come from Latin. Elephant. Star. Ancient word from Greek. Pork. Restaurant. These these words are from French. English is hard. It's because it's a big confusing mix. But it, but it's a lot easier to understand when you know why. I number seven, and we will all be seven years old very soon, which makes me think of the future and the past we came from. All of us used to have a very、really、hard time in class. Some of us were too shy. Some of us couldn't write. Some of us couldn't focus, and some of us were not little monkeys that made teacher to go crazy. However, we all grew stronger and developed into a mature class that little kids grew up to. Teacher Drew says he is a hard teacher, so that we will have the tools to make our futures a little easier. I'm lucky number eight. At least in Chinese culture, which we learn a lot about, we learn a lot about Taiwanese histories and how lucky we are to live in Taiwan. Plus, how lucky we are to learn English and Chinese from a young age, and. Now we can share what it means to be Taiwanese with people around the world. And once our English is strong enough, what language shall we try next? Espanol. I number nine. Which is a really special number because with the number zero through nine, you can make all of the number nine universe, like an art. 
Or you can take a few colors and things and make anything your imagination. I mean, just about everything. Hey guys, what's your favorite art project? The Christmas food props. Our watercoloring essays. We're stuffed dragons. Our ant farms. Our dioramas. Our payment models. Our acrylic brandy butterflies. Our cherry blossom paintings. Our cardboard toys. Our beaver puppets. Our city signs. Our Taiwanese magnet. Green class. What? Yeah, not kidding. You guys are my favorite art project. <laughs> We made all of those things pretty much all by ourselves, which is a good segue into the biggest lessons that Teacher Drew taught us. Independence. Yes, figure it out yourself was a big part of how Teacher Drew taught us how to learn. Someday we won't have a Teacher Drew or a Teacher Rita or a mommy and daddy to help us. When we are all grown up, it will be up to me to solve my own problems. And when that day comes, I know that I will be ready. Yeah, we're independent, but we also learn how to help our friends. Every time someone will finish early in green class, they will become a little teacher to help any of our friends who are struggling. And we then just use our mind to help in green class. We use our body to make the classroom a smoothie. Things like packing our bags. Sweeping the floor, distributing the home reading, washing the art supplies, taking the dishes to the kitchen, moving the table, organize the library, rolling out the sleeping bag, filling up the water bottles, feeding the moon duck, wiping down the tables. And a million other things. <laughs> Lastly, me, I am a new student in green class. I felt like the most important thing teacher Drew taught us was one simple word: try, just try. Because sometimes things have been really hard. Try. I really don't like art anyway. That. Try. I don't know how to spell this. Try. This game is too hard. I always don't try. What are we doing? Try. I get nervous with so many. Try. <laughs> oh my God, so many. Try. The words in the book in the words in this book are too. Try. This song is too fast. I don't. Try, geez, that is easy. Too easy. Try. I'm too tired to wake up. Try. Today's food is too yucky. I don't. Try. Eat your food, Ivy. But oh my God, I have to type so many reports this weekend.